Creativity is an addiction. Some days it's good, some days not so good. Some days it's like, ooh, I wish. Other days, ooh, no, please don't. It's an addiction. We keep going back to it, and it keeps knocking on our heart. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I'm a poet. One that just happens to write in a forest. In 2015, I stepped into a very special collection of trees at the Billy Graham Library right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. While there, I did nothing but write. But they were never my words. They were the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Well, nearly two years later, God spoke into my heart. He said it was time to grow beyond the library, to write within other collections of trees, mainly my own forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. You see, in every place that I have written, the spirit of Billy's lyrics vibrate the purpose and plan that God has put into play. I never know what I'm going to write about when I enter any forest, which gives us plenty of time to talk about it in the end. Remember, these aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 312, May 7th, 2022. My first Mother's Day without physically having my mother here. But she's very visible in my soul. She got to visit this forest in South Charlotte only one time. Each morning, she'd step outside and just listen, never speaking of what maybe she picked up. These trees have always had a voice. Today, the day before Mother's Day, they're saying, Hey, remember when your mom... She grew up with nature all around her, a farm in Sheridan, Wyoming. We never spoke spiritually about the importance of trees and the lay of the land. But I did fall witness to her keeping a very large garden in Montana, weed-free and ready to feed. She worked side by side with my father, creating one of the most amazing flower gardens. I've always believed that they planted love in the soil, while the rest of us enjoyed the fruit. My first Mother's Day without making that phone call home back to Montana. Not sad only aware, for my mother planted so much inside of me that we find no reason to ever feel lonely. What are the things that your mother or your father planted inside of you? Not for the moment that they gave it to you, but for later in life. The ambitions, the dreams, those wishful thoughts. What is it that they actually said or might have done that today it's every reason why you don't feel lonely? It's to be open with what has been planted. In all the conversations that I had with my mother my entire life up until this point, everything that we talked about was a journey. It was about her life. It was about my life. It was about bringing lives together. But I didn't realize at the time what it would feel like when I did lose my mother. And this being my first Mother's Day without her. She planted things because she knew that the soils that we all walk upon are always going to be enriched with something that will change another person's life. It provides the fruit for someone else. And like I said, with the flowers, my mom and dad worked very hard on this beautiful flower garden in Billings, Montana, while the rest of us enjoyed the beauty. What we didn't see was what they planted in the soil. So when I run into other writers and authors, and and I always hear the stories of, well, I'm just not in the mood to write. I don't have anything to write about. And podcasters are no different. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Why not talk about what's been planted? And you are receiving the fruit. I'm Errol. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.